Hello Aquarius and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Um, I'm checking into your love life Aquarius. Let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I'm seeing that um, you are moving forward. You could be a Cancer or your person could be a Cancer or a Gemini. Uh, but I feel like you're moving forward. You're done um, waiting for this, this person, your masculine, to come forward. You're receiving messages from the divine saying, get going, right? Some of you could even be moving away, away. Uh, but yeah, this, this King of Pentacles energy, they're feeling out in the cold. Here's the thing. They thought that they were better than you. That's the feeling that I'm getting. I feel like they thought they were better than you before. But now, this person, um, as you move on, they're actually, financially, I feel like they're getting stripped, okay? Um, I feel like um, they're having a lot of financial issues. This person could be somebody who is maybe very materialistic. Um, they could be all about their money. And usually the King of Pentacles is in really good shape, right? But they're not. Not at all. They feel very much out in the cold. I feel like they chose someone over you thinking the grass would be greener. But there's actually, it's snow covered. Nothing's able to grow. And they've been kicking themselves nonstop. Um, if you notice, both feet are bandaged up, okay? They could even need financial help at this point. Um, this person could have lost a job, a business, maybe even a home. Um, but yeah, they're they're wanting to take action now, okay? Um, I feel like they want to come forward here. They want this new beginning with you. They want to give you a huge apology. They can't stop thinking about you now. Um, they're feeling defeated, okay? Defeated, depleted. And um, desperate is really kind of the feeling that I'm getting. Yeah, they're seeing everything clearly now. And I feel like this person wants to talk here with the King of Swords energy and the higher font. Um, they've been being taught a lesson and they realize that they're, they're getting a lot of bad karma here. Um, their cash flow is dwindling like they don't having five pentacles that's a big struggle okay and they may need some financial help i i don't know what happened to this person they could have lost their business or their job but yeah they can't stop thinking about you now they're wanting to come back to the person from their past right the one who gave them love love they want to come back to to you collective and you gave them innocent love. You would have never hurt this person. They're thinking about all of these memories about you. Um, yeah, and it's just it's just a painful memory at a time. This person's going down slowly, I'm telling you. It's like a slow, agonizing... And, and as they agonize over this, okay, they, they lose their money. They're still losing out here. Yeah, so they want to take some kind of action. They want to come in really fast here. I, I, I don't like the Knight of Wands being here, but really what I'm picking up is there's going to be a very quick change um, in the energy, okay? Very fast, because the door is closing here on this person. Yeah, they're feeling heartbroken. But this is, this is karmic justice, I feel. It's karmic justice. This person may even, if they're with somebody else, there may be a divorce going on. Clarify justice. Clarify justice. Yeah, they feel very stuck. This is their karmic justice. I feel like this person, um, they want to come towards you really fast, but I'm getting the sense that they're kind of in a spiritual jail. Um, this energy is changing though. I feel like they're being, they could be being released from the spiritual jail in order to come in and do it, you know, make things right. There's a lot of, um, 
conflict. They, I feel like this person caused like some kind of competition maybe between you and somebody else. Yeah, they had other options. All of those options are, they're walking away from those options. Those, that's over. The competition is over. All the competing is over. They know what it is that they want. They can't get their mind off of you. I feel like um, they realize, too, that uh, they broke their own heart here. I feel like they're getting ready to cut out all of the competition. Very quickly, very harshly. And they're angry, they're upset, because you're getting away. And their chances, and, it, and they've, look, this person lost their stability. For a king of pentacles to lose their stability, following somebody else out in the cold, they're getting ready to cut somebody out here so that they can come and make you an offer. Uh, they want to talk, okay? This person, that's all they can think about is their empress and the minor arcana, how they missed out on their chance at ultimate wish fulfillment. You could be dealing with a uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We've got Capricorn, or sorry, Virgo out here heavy. Yeah. Judgment. This person's been under judgment, and they're about to make a judgment call. You could be dealing with a, um, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and now we're heavy on Scorpio as well. They need to come out with it. They're making a judgment call. They want love. They want you. Yeah, they want this blessing back. And you truly were the blessing, but you're outy. You're like leaving the scene. The collective is leaving the building, okay? Um, and you're stepping into something that's going to be very abundant. This is the portal, right? This is you starting your new life happily Say goodbye because I feel like you've been through a battle and you're happy on your own. Um, you're able to say goodbye without being all in your emotions, okay? You're very well balanced here, very intuitive. Uh, all eyes are on you right now. You could be in the public eye doing something spiritual, something very spiritual. You're following your spiritual path here is what you're doing. And you're becoming extremely abundant doing it. Um, you've got nine pentacles here. The most you can have in the deck is ten. Um, but I feel like this person heavily, heavily underestimated you. Two shakes before this card is the seven of pentacles, the most underestimated person in the deck. This person turned their nose up at you, <coughs> thinking they were going to where the grass was greener. But uh, all they got was a frozen, barren wasteland. And here you are just, look at how green you are, becoming extremely abundant. This person didn't know. They just, they, they had no idea what kind of power you held, what kind of value you had. And I feel like this Ace of Cups here, as you're looking at this Ace of Cups, this is your spirituality in this cup. It's not just about love. It's, and my throat is like really, <coughs> excuse me guys, I think this person needs to talk. That my throat is getting really scratchy and tickly all of a sudden, this person really wants to talk to you. <coughs> yeah, I don't know what this is. But anyway, yeah, you're, um, you're on a spiritual path, okay? You're entering into a whole new cycle, a whole new way of life for yourself, and um, you're extremely powerful. Uh, you're, um, you've got, uh, your intuition is lit, okay? Um, and you're receiving messages from the divine. It's right here, too, that little bird. And right here, too, how you watch the divine. You're being spiritually led to move forward, just as this person is making a judgment call. And honestly, they, they're, you're being shown to this person, okay? Uh, anything, anything that you've been doing, how your success, your accomplishments, everything that you've been through, yeah, see? 
you're that's being shown to this person they can see you you're out in the public eye somehow yeah the divine wanted you wanted this person to see it's helping them to learn a lesson they should have never underestimated a divine feminine earth angel energy they should have never done that underestimating and and messing with a, a light worker that's a big no-no okay um, so yeah, this person can see it now and you're all that they can think about. I, they feel ashamed. They could be hiding, trying to hide how they feel. I, I, I get the sense that they're worried. I get the sense that they're a bit scared because they know they, they screwed with somebody who should have never been toyed with. Okay. And now on the bottom of the deck, this is what this person wants. They want to reunite. Um, but they know they've waited too long on this and something has to end first. This toxic situation needs to come to an end first before they can come towards you. They had a decision to make that they sat on and they were told over and over again, you need to make a decision. They were told they were in a toxic situation. They were told about you in one form or another. Okay, this was the choice they needed to make. Who are they going to build with? The devil or the divine, right? They've been told this for a long time. And, and since they didn't listen, since they didn't take any action towards what they wanted, truly, towards a new path, a new decision... I, I feel like this person and their situation's under judgment now. Tower moment. Kaboom. Everything is about to come down for this person. If they followed somebody else out in the cold um, instead of going with you in, the, in a toxic situation, that's coming down. And I mean, this is your person getting their karma, right? They're already feeling it in their finances their their financial stability is being taken away they're unable to grow anything new this person i mean they may not have the money to even pay their rent or their mortgage they could have lost a business a job they could lose a home i'm seeing two people getting knocked out of a tower this person had time to do the right thing not just by you but for themselves and they didn't. I feel like they tried to defy um, the divine, and you don't do that. They stood here with their back turned for too long, um, knowing they had to make a decision, knowing they had to turn around and face this, and they didn't. They are clearly seeing um, that they're getting their karma because you were the blessing and love. The, you really, I mean, you it's their choices that are getting them this tower, okay? It's their choices that, that are putting them under judgment. But the fact of the matter is, is um, really they're getting their karma for how they treated you. They didn't realize at the time that you were a blessing from God. They didn't see at the time that you would be really truly um leveling up and going places in your life okay they they underestimated you they misjudged you and now they're paying for it and they know everything they did to you every time they ignored the divine and still staying in a toxic relationship with the, with somebody who's with the devil energy right they're looking at this now and they know they're paying for playing games with a divine feminine, a light worker. You were the blessing the whole time. Yeah, so they know they're getting their karma for this. Um, and that tower, I, I feel like this person keeps experiencing tower after tower, like in, in small little ways, right? Um, first with their finances, then unable to grow more at kicking themselves until both of their feet need to be wrapped up. Um, their finances going down, their money, there's no money left, I feel, for this person. Barely any to get by on. And, you know, they could be suffering some health issues here, too, by the way. Needing help. 
They know they followed the wrong person. They know they followed a toxic individual instead of going with the earth angel. I'm telling you guys. And they know they're being judged right now. It's, it's judgment time for everybody. But, you know, how are you entering into the new cycle, right? It looks to me like you're good, collective. You're good. You, you, you really are trusting the, the messages you're getting. You're allowing the divine to lead you this whole time. You haven't done anything to hurt anybody from what I can see. I feel like you've been put through it. You know, this is somebody who's having a victory coming off of a really bad battle. Determined to be happy. Maybe even moving. You could be moving away. But yeah, um, I feel like you guys are good. Your energy is good. Whatever it is that you're working on right now and growing, it's going to continue into this new cycle. You're, you're blessed. But this person here, because they refused to make a decision, they ignored the signs from the divine and the messages they were getting. Now they're going to be suffering, you know? Yeah. I feel like they're hanging on to whatever tiny little bit of money that they have. Some of them could even be suffering an STD, bad health, STD. They're, they, they, they are losing their money, they're losing their health, they're losing opportunities, um, all because they ignored um, what they were supposed to do. They didn't do what they were asked to do. They didn't even really choose. They just lingered in between. You can't do that. And here you, the one with integrity... The one with strength, the one who stood in your boundaries, you're the one having a victory out here, collective. You could be a Sagittarius, Gemini, um, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus. Your person could be a Capricorn, possibly Gemini. Um, heavy on Scorpio, but I feel like that's, be, you know, a lot of that is because things are coming to an end for this person. Um, Virgo energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, yeah, they know, they know, they know they've had to come forward and apologize to you and get you out of this mental prison. They've known for a long time. They may be thinking, hey, you know, if I go and apologize now, all of this will stop, right? Right. It doesn't really truly work like that. Yeah. See? I feel like that's what it is, too. I'm sorry. They may be um, want, knowing that they have to apologize for the lies and betrayal, but this person's coming towards you as a page of cups. So there's kind of a fakeness about this apology. I kind of get the feeling like... Um, they want to try to apologize now just to try to trick the divine again. Look, I apologized, you know, just to end this karma. It doesn't, it's not, I mean, you know, I feel like you, you're moving forward regardless. Okay. But this person, they need to make an actual decision here. Um, and I feel like if they choose to stay with the devil, then that's what they choose to do. But they've got to stop focusing on you then. They need to be able to let you go and move forward. Because no earth angel, no divine feminine is going to be living with any toxic energy. I know that for a fact. Yeah, who are they going to give to? It's almost like they want to apologize to you, hang on to your energy, and give to somebody else. But it's, yeah, in doing that, you know, they're going to be, they're going to be carrying this burden with them forever. Then they're going to, they're going to remain in these burdens for the rest of their days. If they try to hang on to your energy or keep you, um, you know, like breadcrumbing you and juggling, they're going to be hanging on to all of these burdens here for the rest of their days. The divine's not screwing around. 
they're not screwing around. All right, give me one more for this person. And they know they're they're suffering here because of what they did to an earth angel. They can they see that very clearly, you guys. Yeah, communication is coming forward. Communication's coming. They know they want to choose a path. They know they want to choose a different path. They don't want to be on this anymore. They don't. They, they're on the losing end. <laughs> okay? They don't want to be there anymore. So this person is choosing a path where they hold the world in the palm of their hands. They feel like they're coming towards you here in a lot of regret. In a lot of regret. Um... Yeah, knowing whatever they chose over you didn't have any love in it. It had nothing but blood and sand in those cups. That's it. They didn't get anything out of it except to be cracked down by the, by the divine. That's what they got. For stringing you along, for playing games with an earth angel... For hurting you and not even giving you a decent, I'm sorry. They didn't give you anything. They just kept you sitting in one spot waiting for answers. And you know what? The divine's not having it anymore. You work for the divine. So your head has to be clear. You can't keep, you cannot stay in this kind of energy where you're just waiting to hear from somebody. You can't. That's why the divine, you're listening to the messages, move forward, just keep it moving, just keep focused on you, put some love into you, look, we'll put some extra fruit on your tree, we'll give you some new knowledge, we'll make you extremely beautiful, now you go take care of you and go nurture yourself and what it is that you're growing, move forward. You're listening to the divine here. So there, the divine is protecting you. They can't, if you're doing a job for them, which I feel like you are, some kind of intuitive healing work, um, they can't, you can't stay in that energy. Plus two, they needed to get you out and out of harm's way because they needed to crack down on this person. Judgment. They needed to teach this person a lesson through, through karma. There's a price to pay for the way that they're treating you. But you don't need to pay that price. You've already, you've already put in your work for the karmic debt that you owe. Now, the divine needed to kind of get you out of the way. If you see this, they're, you're kind of up here while they get all of their karma. Because, you, yeah, because you're working for the divine. You work for them. And I feel like, honestly, this is the divine taking you to calmer waters, getting you out of this mental mind trap. I feel like that's the divine doing this, making you make, because you're their empress. You're held in very high regard. So you were instructed to walk away from this mess so that this person can have their, uh, can be taught a lesson through karma. And that's what's happening. The divine didn't want you a part of it. You're supposed to be out here doing a job for them. A healer, an empath, someone who's here to guide other people. Okay? But your person, you know, they had their chance to make it right and they did it. Now is the time for them to pay that karmic debt. And that's what's happening here. And they know, it. they know beyond the shadow of a doubt, it's because of how they treated you. A light worker, earth angel. Okay? Yeah, so, you know, I feel like the divine is saying just let us do our thing, you know. Um, stay out of it, right? You can't help this person. They need, to, they need to go through their karma on their own. It's not your debt to pay anymore. It's theirs. Yeah, I feel like this. now they're stuck. That's the feeling I'm getting off of this. They waited too long to make something right, okay? This is waiting around, waiting, waiting, right? Um, focusing on trying to build, investing and building the wrong thing. Now they're freaking stuck. I feel like they've lost almost all of their finances. Um, yeah, they've lost. They've waited too long and now they're stuck. 
All right. Give me one more for the collective. Yep, they juggled. They kept you sitting there. Wish fulfillment here. They, I feel like this person could actually be numbing. Heavy drinking here is really what I'm feeling like. Still, I feel like this was that, though. They got message after message, too, from the divine, and they sat here in this chair and did nothing about it, being all smug, like they thought they could get away with it or something like that, you know? Maybe it fed their ego or something, but they're getting, they're getting it now. This is a total crackdown by the divine. You don't mess with, you don't go and mess up an earth angel. Earth angels have jobs here to do. You don't go and break their hearts. You don't, um, you don't get, you don't mess over an earth angel. I don't know how to, I, that's, how else do you explain it? And this person is seeing this now. They're being told. Okay. Yeah, so I feel like they are in spiritual jail right now. They may want to come towards you. They may want to talk to you. Um, but they're st they may still be stuck with whoever they... A uh, karmic situation, definitely. Because of codependency. All right, what else can you show me here? Anything? I think that's it, guys. Let's see what this person has to say to you. Right now, collective, I feel like um, you may hear from this person, but um, you're being protected. They're getting their karma right now, and that it's it's really the only thing that's going to show this person and have them learn a lesson from this. And I feel like you really are being urged to keep moving forward, focusing on you. Keep it going, right? Stay strong through this. Keep your integrity. I feel like that's what you're doing already, okay? And just know, if this person hasn't come forward to you yet, this one in particular, it's because they're being held back in class. Yeah, they're in detention right now, um, getting their karma. Yeah, look at this on the bottom of the deck. I still feel connected to you, but I've waited too long to reach out. Is it too late for us? I still feel your energy around me. I never believed in these things before. I do now. This is, they're talking about your twin flame soulmate connection here. They feel you. And you can probably feel them. Um, I fantasize about getting a second chance with you. Yeah. I cheated you out of real love. I ghosted you because of my own insecurities. I worry that you moved on and this is all in my head. Is it? Do you still think about me? I love you, but I'm afraid to reach out and have you reject me. Yeah, so they're realizing who it is that they want. They're also realizing that they're getting their karma right now. Uh, and it seems to me like even though they keep saying, is it too late? I want to reach out. Um, I, I believe now, I fantasize about a second chance, right? It's almost like they want it really bad, but there's something stopping them from coming forward. That's because the divine doesn't want you to be part of their karma. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This person knows they're getting their karma for how they treated you. And the divine doesn't want you to suffer that. 